This is not the restaurant one. This is 100% frozen. This is supposed to be the green beans from P.F. Chang, which is a chain in America. I knew that already. This is not brand new information. So I have the plates on here. Yep. And I am going to start with this side. So yeah, it definitely feels like green beans. Wait, should I attempt to show you? This is a mistake. But look at the green beans. I have no idea if this is in frame. So we're gonna start with these green beans. They don't feel very crispy. So immediately I'm thinking this is towards the frozen food situation. Oh, they are not crispy, but they are tasty. That is good. I have no idea if this is restaurant or if this is frozen. The flavor is towards restaurant. It's very greasy and flavorful in a good way, but then it's not crispy and it's supposed to be crispy. So let's try. These feel very similar. I guess when you're blindfolded, everything feels the same. Mm, let me see. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> No, just no, no, no. I don't even know if I'm in frame or not, but this is disgusting. <laughs> the flavor is nothing like this one. It's watery. Even though it feels almost crispier on the outside, it's watery on the inside. You can probably see the water coming out of it. And it tastes so funky. This is like a one out of 10. This is horrible. These are not the same product. I don't care what they say. Completely different. I don't need to be blindfolded. This one is difficult to swallow. That one was delicious. Clear winner on this side, hands down. This is the winner to me. And I'm gonna guess this is the restaurant version because it just tasted better. So, yep. Oh my God, wait. They look nothing alike. They look completely different. They also taste completely different. This is not even the same product. Wait, because people are not gonna believe me. This is the restaurant dish. They are incredible. Once you bite into it, it's delicious. It's not very crispy. I don't know if it's because it's been sitting here for a while, but it's not crispy. It's so flavorful and the vegetables feel fresh on the inside. This, this is like biting into a battered slug. It's the worst texture on the inside. I would never want to eat this ever again. And look at this. How are they convincing people that this is the same product? How? Even blindfolded, you wouldn't be able to trick me. Crispy tempura battered green beans? Yeah, maybe if you go to the restaurant. Size to share? Yeah, maybe if you change the recipe. Maybe I'm being harsh on P.F. Chang frozen food, but this is delicious. This is really, really good. I don't even want to try it again. Can we just pretend like this never happened? For me, it's the fact that they tried to gaslight us into believing that this is the same product. They're not the same product. The plot thickens. These are supposed to be the potato skins from TGA Fridays, both from restaurant and frozen. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this. I feel like I'm gonna start with this side. Oh, okay, so it feels solid, substantial. I have to pretend like I can show you what it looks like even though I have no idea if you can see it. It's very heavy. Feels slightly undercooked or something. It's a little springy. There's a little bit of a crunch to it. But the flavor, it's good. It's a whole lot of potato for one bite. It's a big potato bite. It's like potato skin. Yeah, skin and the vital organs, the vestigial ones. <laughs> the full system is here. A little bit watery. I think it's frozen. Not because it doesn't taste good, but because when you bite into it, it's just a bit watery. The flavor is good. I really like the bacon on it. It is crispy. So I'm gonna try the one on this side now. Okay, <laughs> why does this one feel so much lighter? What? Wait, is this a completely different size? This one tastes more stale, but the flavor is good as well. It's truly difficult with this one. I like the flavor a lot as well. It's not a huge difference in flavor. It mostly comes down to the fact that this one, it feels like a potato. This is like a substantial good meal. This one, this is a scam. Whatever this is, it's a scam. There's barely any potato in this. If I was gonna spend my money on this, I would spend my money on this side. For that reason, I'm gonna say this is the winner because the flavor is really similar. It's not a huge difference. The frozen version of this, it's really close to the restaurant one. So I'm guessing this is the restaurant one because it just, it's, it's more meaty. Like, I don't think they would serve this at the restaurant. So in my opinion, this one tastes a lot better and I think it's the restaurant one. So,
Wait, because I am confusion. This is the restaurant one? They're scamming everyone. Look at the size of this. It's so thin. They really mean it when they said potato skin. It's all it is. So this is the frozen one. I just want to show you. Do you see how it's like a substantial amount of potato? In my opinion, this looks like it should be the restaurant version. Look how solid this is. Now you're telling me they're serving this at the restaurant. Was there a mix up at the hospital and I got the wrong child or something? We're going to make a Netflix documentary about the child that I lost at the hospital at birth. My lost child that I meet 12 years later. In my opinion, it's crazy that this is the restaurant version because it's so much less food. And this one tastes slightly better it feels fresher so if you ever see this at the supermarket this tastes better this is superior this is the winner this tastes better than the restaurant quality didn't expect that not from this one so this is auntie anne's pretzel hot dog bites or something like that i'm gonna start with the one on this side this one here feels very much like a very soft pretzel with a sausage in the center. This is the part where I think I can show you something, but it's probably completely out of focus. I'm like over here. <laughs> it smells like burned. Are these burned? <laughs> this cannot be the restaurant one. Is it burned on the bottom at least? Is it burned anywhere? They all smell burned. <laughs> so I'm gonna guess this is the one from the oven. I mean, I'm pretty sure they would not burn at the restaurant, but let's try it. Oh my god, that is... <laughs> the pretzel is like fresh. It tastes like yeasty, bakery, fresh. It does not taste like burn. So I'm thinking this is a restaurant one actually. And the sausage as well. This is very good. Wow. This is incredible. I'm just gonna sit here with my eyes closed and enjoy this for five minutes. It's so good. The pretzel on this is next level, so if this is frozen, it would be a really good frozen. This is smaller? It feels smaller. Is it smaller? This one smells burnt as well. Maybe it's my hands. Imagine if I'm on fire and I can't see it. So let's try this one. Okay, interesting. It's really close. I don't know. Mmm. <laughs> It is good. The actual hot dog is incredible on both of them and exactly the same texture. I think the pretzel was better in this one. It was just softer. So I'm inclined to think that this is the winner. And I also think this is the one from Auntie Anne's restaurant, the one that we picked up fresh. I think this is the frozen one just because the dough didn't feel as fresh. It felt a little like you cooked it in the oven kind of thing. But I would say this to me is like a 10 out of 10. This is a 9.5 out of 10. It is really, really close. So this is the winner and I'm thinking that this is the restaurant. Thank you. Thank you. Oh wow, they look different actually. Oh, this one was bigger so we cut it into pieces, which kind of makes sense because I was like, this feels different. They're both incredible. So just for reference, this is the restaurant one. This is what they look like, the little Oh wait, it is overcooked in the bottom. I am incredible. The power of smelling never fails me. How did I smell this? I smell the BS even when I'm blindfolded. It is slightly overcooked, but I've never been to this place before, but this was incredible. That doesn't even taste like a pretzel anymore. That was like the dreamiest salty bread kind of sweet as well that I've ever had. And this is the frozen Auntie Anne's and it's just, look, this is what I was trying to tell you. It's not quite as puffed up the pastry, but the flavor, they do a great job. If the frozen one is cheaper, 100% approved. Like this is great, but this is very, very close. I would happily get the frozen one anytime. In complete fairness, in complete honesty, this is a winner. So go restaurant. <laughs> Team restaurant for this one. This is the moment I've been waiting for. This is what I like to call the battle of the cheesecakes. We've got a freshly made cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory and one from the frozen section of the supermarket, which is obviously kind of defrosted, so it's ready to eat. This is gonna be difficult. Okay, so I've got the two plates here. I'm gonna start with one on this side. So that is cheesecake. I don't know how to eat this. Imagine if I get nothing on the fork. This feels very soft. This is the first cheesecake. Incredible. 
That is very good. Mm. I don't know though. I wouldn't say this is one from the Cheesecake Factory. There's almost like an aftertaste that I don't think you get when you go to the Cheesecake Factory. You're gonna have a little bit more. Ooh, that's a whole lot more. Oh, that is so good though. <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. It is really soft, which makes me think it's the restaurant one. However, there's like an aftertaste. It could be the one from the supermarket. So I don't know. It is delicious. Let's try the one on this side. Not me looking for the cheesecake with my hands. Okay, it's here. Oh, this one is solid. Wow. This one is incredible. Wow. They taste different. This one's like milkier. I feel like I have cheesecake all over my mouth. My favorite is this one by far. This one is milkier. It's softer. It just tastes better. This one tastes clean. It's like a clean cheesecake flavor. This one's great, but it does not taste as fresh. So I'm going to say this is the clear winner for me. However, the texture of it, just because I know one of them was frozen, I also think this is the frozen one. So I would say the winner is what I also think is the frozen one. It just tastes so much better. That is the best cheesecake by far. Wait, because I was thinking this was it, but I wasn't, I actually wasn't sure. I thought I was going to be wrong. The frozen one tastes better than the one from the restaurant. Let me say this again. The frozen one tastes better. They look really similar. At least, I mean, they're kind of destroyed now. So what am I even going to show you? This is the, fr oh, great. This is the fresh one. This is the one that came from the Cheesecake Factory. It was probably freshly made. I don't know if today, probably yesterday, today. I don't know. Oh, I didn't even try the crust on this one. This is kind of ruined now, but this is the one from the supermarket. And honestly, it's better. I don't think you guys understand. This is the one that I actually want to eat over and over again. Even the crust. This tastes so much better. This is so weird. Oh my God. Mm -mm. Let me look for a crack on the ingredients list. <laughs> Cause there is no other way. It is milky. The crust, it feels like real. It, like you can almost taste the cookies and pieces of sugar in it. It's almost like a little bit crunchy in the best way. It's the milkiest cheesecake I've ever had. It is an 11 out of 10. This is a great cheesecake. I thought this was the best cheesecake in the world. That's because I'd never tried their frozen one. This is becoming scary because this is not how I thought this was gonna go, but this is how it's going. Next up, we've got P.F. Chang's Honey Chicken, which is kind of like an orange chicken, but I guess with honey instead. I'm trying not to touch the packagings. Here we go, the plate. So I'm gonna start with this side. This is a test to my chopstick skills. Am I even getting it from the right plate? I'm gonna start with this side. Oh, this is more difficult than I thought. Yep, that was not it. Okay, I think I got something. It feels sturdy. So this is what it looks like. <laughs> you guys are not seeing anything, are you? This never gets not funny to me. It's gotta be focused at some point. <laughs> so we're gonna give this a try. It smells really nice. Okay, kind of tastes like a McDonald's chicken nugget. <laughs> Maybe it's the restaurant one and this is about to be really offensive, but it tastes like processed chicken. It is what it is. That's what it tastes like. But I do like it. It just, it's not incredible. I'm gonna go for this one now. Why is this one difficult to get? Okay, we got something. So this is the second one that I'm gonna try. Okay, yep, that's real chicken. I decided to comment finally have a valuable opinion. Here's the thing, the one on this side, it's not real chicken. It's like maybe a blend of chicken. It's very similar to what a fast food chicken nugget is like. The one on this side, it feels like real chicken. However, the sauce is the same in both of them. That is what they have in common, but it is a scam, but the sauce is the same, but the actual product is a scam. So I think my favorite one is this one for the simple fact that it feels like real chicken. I will eat it. I know this is offensive in Asia, but you guys gotta forgive me. This is the one. That's real chicken. I love the sauce. The sauce is equally great on both. You cannot convince me this is chicken. This is not chicken. The one on this side, if your expectation would be like a chicken nugget, 
You know what? This is actually really good as well. Wait, I can't decide now. Oh, I like both. Um, this is the winner because this is real chicken, but this one is really good as well. So. Nothing makes me happier than another day of me being correct. Look, this looks like chicken nuggets. Are you kidding me? I have to show you guys. I'm a genius. I guess I can truly trust my opinions. Great opinions. Never thought that about myself. This video is building up my confidence. Thank you. I just thank myself. <laughs> the sauce is the same. You can see it as well. But this one is, that's a chicken nugget. It's a scam. The fact that they're trying to convince you that this image on the box is this, that is criminal. People go to jail for less than that. And I will show you the proof here in four. 4K. If you've never tapped the 4K option on my videos, this is the time. It costs a lot of money to make it happen, a lot of hard work. Do you see this right here? That's what P.F. Chang is promising you. Like this nice, like restaurant quality chicken. Even the front of the package, look, they're promising you basically restaurant quality chicken. Look at the quality of the chicken on that. In reality, what you're getting from the frozen one is, I don't want to be shady, but this is a chicken nugget. It's a chicken nugget if I've ever seen a chicken nugget. Even the shapes of it, I think they're getting them from McDonald's. No piece of chicken comes out in this Play-Doh shape. <laughs> it still tastes like a great chicken nugget with sauce, which is basically what this is. But this is very much not the same as what they're selling in the restaurant. Do you see this? No, that's real chicken. Look at the way it's so irregular. It's chunky. It's meaty. When you bite into this, you really taste the difference. Do you see this chicken right here? The one that was the clear winner? That's the chicken they used on the image. That is shady. I don't want to call them out in this video, but they call themselves out by doing something extremely shady. P.F. Chang honey chicken. If you're in the mood for chicken nuggets, go for it. If you want real honey chicken, you might have to go to the restaurant. I like to believe that I would be able to tell the difference between a frozen pizza and a restaurant pizza, but this whole video has me confused. I know the boxes are here, so I don't want to knock them over. That's why I'm being extra careful. Okay, there we go. Two slices of pizza. This is the crust and this is the crust, I think. Wow, the talent. I'm going to start with one on this side. Oh, that is flaky and crusty. I think this is the restaurant one. I mean, homemade pizza is always kind of soggy. I don't know if you can see it, but this is our first slice. Oh, I forgot to tell you. <laughs> this is a margarita pizza from California Pizza Kitchen, which is a really big chain. Interesting. It feels like restaurant quality. The flavor is confusing. Maybe I can tell by the crust. It is crusty. The crust is crusting. <laughs> I make myself laugh. The actual pizza is giving restaurant the dough, but there's tomatoes on top and they taste frozen. I don't know, there's like that weird flavor. But then the dough felt kind of flaky. So let's try the one on this side. Okay, that kind of feels like restaurant. Could be frozen as well. So this is what it looks like. They feel similar. That's the restaurant one. I don't know. <laughs> I think so. It tastes like leftover New York style pizza. This one doesn't have the weird tomatoes, the frozen tomatoes on top. It tastes like a pizza oven. Let me try the crust. Oh. Sure. That's really chewy. I feel like that has to be fresh though. Frozen dough doesn't do this chewiness. Interesting. I do like the flavor more on this one. I'm gonna say that's the restaurant one and that's also the winner. I can tell from the stretchiness of the dough, it was made with fresh dough. Look at me being a food critic. <laughs> this one, I could tell because there's tomatoes on top that taste like frozen tomatoes. Like, you know when you bite into a frozen vegetable and it's like watery? There's a consistency. There's like a flavor. There's something in it. So I'm gonna say this is the one, this is the winner. And I also think it's the restaurant one. Yep. They look really different. Wait, I did not see that coming. In my head, they looked nothing like this. I'm sure you guys have seen it already, but they actually look quite different. Like, you can really tell. <laughs> I'm looking at the back of it. This one looks like pizza. This one looks like a salt and cracker. <laughs> It's literally got the tiny holes in it and everything. That looks like a real pizza. Yeah, this is the winner. I'm surprised how different they look. At least they used the right photo in the image, which not everyone can say. P.F. Chang. P.F. Chang stands for professional. Okay, Google, what's the synonym for scammer? On the website vocabulary.com, they say, a person who swindles you by means of deception or fraud. Synonyms, chiseler, chiseler, defrauder, 
Gouger, grifter, swindler. P.F. Chang, short for professional chiseler Chang. At least they use the right photo, so you get what you sell in the image. It's just that what you get is very different than what you get at the restaurant. This is day and night. This is the microwave one, and this is the one from the restaurant. This is a great example of not buying into every single one of these branded products because it's just a brand. You are not getting what you get at the restaurant, at least for California Pizza Kitchen. Just get the Walmart brand if you're buying frozen pizza and save some money, please. I beg you. This is a product that I know all too well. This is the famous mozzarella sticks from TJ Fridays. So I like to believe I will be able to tell the difference. I'm gonna start with the one on this. I'm gonna start with the one on this side for a change. Oh, immediately? Oh, soggy. Towards frozen. Okay, let's give it a try. That tastes like it's frozen. Great, but it, it is, this is not what you get at the restaurant. Both of them are cold for like a fair comparison. I will eat my shoe, shave my head, if this is the restaurant one. This is not the restaurant one. This is 100% frozen. I'm too confident in this. On this side, this is crispy. This is the restaurant one. Cheese? Softer in the center, way more flavor on the outside. And the crispiness, this one is actually like a good crispiness. Like this has been deep fried, you can just tell. I'm like 99% sure this is better. This is way better. That's the winner. Listen to this. Like this one is actually crispy. Hands down, winner on this side. I'm pretty sure this is the one from the restaurant and that's the frozen one. This is like a bland version of this. So. Wait, what? This is my villain origin story. I feel like such a clown. How did I get this wrong? This is so much better than what you get at the restaurant. It is next level superior. It was made in my kitchen. I would honestly swear that we accidentally exchanged this if it wasn't for the fact that the restaurant ones come with some cheese on top. That is how we know this is the restaurant one. I could be wrong about this and I might go to jail. I think they're the same. I think the only difference, mine were cooked properly. Mine cooked long enough for it to actually crisp up and the cheese to melt. These are very undercooked. I think they're the same. I think the only difference is the one we made. I think we just cooked it a little bit longer. Like if it wasn't for the cheese on top and the spices and the oregano, they're the same. But this one's better because it's cooked. It's great. Flavor, 10 out of 10. Maybe there's something seriously wrong with TJ Friday because I just realized this is the second time in this video that the frozen TJ Friday food is superior to the restaurant one. So either these are incredible and you guys need to run to your supermarket like as soon as possible, or this is also a possibility. They're really not slaying an uppercase. This is not even a lowercase slay. I would say this is slayless. Conspiracy theory. This is P.F. Chang's beef and broccoli, which I think is their most popular beef dish. And I just want to say it smells incredible. I don't know which one smells so good, but one of them or both of them, it smells, this is the best smelling one so far, hands down. I'm trying to find out where the middle is. Me in high school looking for a toilet cubicle to eat my lunch. I'm going to start with the one on this side. I'm, this one's calling me. This is impossible. I'm gonna have to hold the whole plate, bowl. This is not possible otherwise. God, I have no idea what I'm doing. Are you guys seeing anything? I feel like I'm holding something. That is pretty good. It tastes very fresh. Like the broccoli has like a bite to it. I just don't think I got any meat. Oh, no. That is good. I like that a lot. It tastes like sesame a lot. It's very toasty. It's sweet, but not too sweet. And honestly, the meat is okay. It's not the best, but the vegetables taste fresh. I'm like pretty sure that's the restaurant one. Like it tastes really crunchy. You can't make frozen vegetables taste crunchy, right? Cause they're frozen. So let's see this one. Oh, this one's fuller, I think. That is crunchy as well. Oh, I am confused. I'm trying to get to something other than broccoli. I think this is meat. Mm, I knew there was nothing in it. Wait, is there something in it? Wait, why does it feel like I have something in it? Oh. 
Okay. That is yummy. I don't know. Ooh, the meat. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's really good. This one is so difficult. I like the flavor, I like the sauce, and I like the vegetables better on this one. But the meat on this one, it tastes like real. I think P.F. Chang has done a great job at making the frozen version of this item because it really is similar. This is not a scam. I take everything back that I said. I don't know. I'm gonna say that this one is the best one. And I think it's the restaurant one because the beef, it's on another level. It tasted like homemade. So I'm gonna say this is the winner and I also think this is the restaurant one, but I'm not sure with this one. I've been humbled. Let's see. I got it right. I said this is the restaurant one. Oh my God, look the difference in the amount of beef that you get on it. I was 100% right. But like the broccoli does seem better in this one. This is confusing. Am I crazy for thinking that the frozen one, the broccoli looks actually better and the sauce is just stickier. It looks really, really good. It's just deeper, it's a richer sauce and it tastes richer as well. The restaurant one, look how the sauce is way more watery. And the broccoli, look, this broccoli is not the same quality. It's more like tiny pieces of broccoli, but then the difference is in the beef. When I was biting into this, I was like, this is some restaurant quality beef. It is truly incredible. Oh, that is so good. It kind of melts in your mouth. This one was really, really close. I feel like the restaurant won by just like a 0.01% and because of the beef, because I actually think a lot of things were better in this one. If you ever want to go and buy the P.F. Chang beef and broccoli, it is 100% approved. It's not exactly the same as in the restaurant, but it's good. It's good on its own way. And the sauce, this broccoli is next level. Immediately, I'm happy that my house smells like a bakery. This is my favorite bread of all time. I can smell it. It's here. One of them is the real one. I know it. I can feel it in my heart. So this is the whole grain bread from the Cheesecake Factory, except one of them was baked at the Cheesecake Factory. The other one was bought from the supermarket in a plastic package and baked in the oven. Both of them are cool and ready. Oh, I'm not centered. Sorry. <laughs> Should I do this again? Well, oh well. So can we tell the difference? I'm gonna start with the one on this side. This is gonna be difficult. This feels strangely soft. I swear this is normally, normally crusty. Me the day after I moisturize my feet once a year. It's scientific. Oh wait, I should have shown it to you. Wait, I'll show you this one. This is what it looks like. I mean, you can't see anything. It feels too soft. I'm not sure. The flavor is flavoring. My taste buds are burning. It is good. Chewy, but strangely soft on the outside. I'm guessing towards the supermarket one. Um, next up, okay, this is like, oh my God, the fact that I can tell the, the Cheesecake Factory bread <laughs> from touching it for a second. This one feels sturdier. It feels like real bread. No, that's the one. Wait. The flavor was kind of better on that one. I have confusion. But this one feels more like real bread. It's definitely crusty on the outside. This is giving restaurant quality, like bakery bread. It feels like bread on the inside as well. Interesting. Let me try again. Okay, this is really weird, but I like the flavor better on this one. And I like the texture better on this one. This is definitely the real bread because I know it. But this one tastes like almost like a gingerbread. It's a new version of this that I didn't know I liked, but I really like. I'm going to go and say, I love the flavor of this, but the texture, it's very much of if Little Debbie's was recreating the Cheesecake Factory bread, <laughs> which I think is a really offensive thing to say, but I do mean it. So while the flavor is there, the texture of this is just next level. So I'm going to give it to this one. And I do think it is a restaurant one. I would be really surprised. Yup. <laughs> they look completely different by the way, but I mean, I know, I know. We go way back, me and this bread. How are they trying to convince people that this is the same bread? No, cause that's hilarious. The fresh one from the Cheesecake Factory has so many more seeds, but then the texture of it also feels more like bread. The texture of this one, do you see how it's like, it's almost like a little Debbie's cake. This one is like dense, look, it doesn't go. They are nothing alike. So this is the fresh one from the Cheesecake Factory. Do you see how it looks like real bread? Like you can really see. And even if I like break it, I don't want to 
ruin it. I'm gonna take this little end off. Do you see how it has the texture of bread? It's dense. This is the one that you get from the supermarket. Keep in mind that we did bake it according to the instructions. First of all, look at the seeds on the outside. Do you know that TikTok sound of the Titanic and it's like really poorly played? This, that's what it feels like. And then on the inside, it's like little Debbie's interpretation of this. You see how soft it is? Not in a good way. Like, it's very cakey. I liked it as well in terms of flavor, but the texture is very much like cake. So once again, if you really like the Cheesecake Factory bread, I hate to break it to you, the supermarket is not even, it's not even beginning to cut it. Very much not the same, just so you know. So this is from a restaurant called Benny Hanna, which I think is like a chain restaurant. And this specific dish, it's called hibachi chicken rice, which I think is like an egg fried rice with chicken in it. So I'm gonna be honest, I've never had an egg fried rice frozen that tasted good, so I would be surprised. So I'm gonna start with the one on this side. Oh, I think I'm gonna just hold the whole plate because I don't think I can do this. Okay, wait, I'm gonna hold the whole plate. Okay, so the rice is on here, so let's give it a try. Mm. That's very good. It's plain, but just enough flavor. Oh my god. I need a spoon and the chopsticks aren't cutting it. <laughs> that is very, very good. The flavor is so clean and nice that it's saying restaurant, but then it doesn't have any kind of sauce. It's almost too plain to be a restaurant. So I don't know. If it's frozen, it's a very good frozen fried rice. Let's try this one. Oh, this one's fuller. Okay, this is gonna be... Oh, that is way more flavorful. Oh my God, that tastes nothing like the other one. Wait, this is good. <laughs> Might be a controversial opinion. Even though I really like that one and I thought it tasted clean and it did the job for sure, this one. I think this is the one. This tastes like it has flavor. I feel like there's more flavor into this. I can taste garlic, I can taste the sauce, I can taste ginger. This to me has to be the restaurant one, or I think it is. I think that one is 10% of the flavor of this one. So I'm gonna say this is my favorite one and I think this is the restaurant one. No, I did not see that coming. I think this is an expensive restaurant. They look exactly how I pictured in my head. This one is more saucy, has more color to it than this. This is way plainer, but surprisingly, I like the chicken better on this one. I almost like everything better in this one. Guys, this is a frozen meal. This is from the restaurant on this side. We're all about to save a lot of money. If you like Benny Hanna's chicken rice, Walmart. $3. So this is the restaurant one. Do you see how it's very plain? Even though it has a lot of chicken and technically, like there's nothing wrong with it. I thought it was really, really good. Just not a whole lot of flavor. Okay, this is the microwave one. It might not look as good, but every single bite had so much flavor. Like the chicken is incredible. There's a sauce kind of combining the whole thing that is honestly incredible. The winner is the frozen one. I did not expect this for an expensive restaurant. Anything can happen. I think so far every TGI Friday food that we've tried, I have preferred the frozen version. So it comes down to this. This is the TGI Friday Buffalo chicken wings, both frozen and from the restaurant. It would be insane if the frozen one is superior in this one because chicken wings are always better at the restaurant. So we're gonna try it out. Uh, just guess I'm gonna eat it with my hands. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with the one on this side. Saucy. Oh. Okay, so this is what the chicken wing looks like. I would not be able to tell the quality of a chicken wing from looking at it. Spicy, I mean, it's buffalo. <laughs> it is good. I like it. If it was a restaurant dish, I think it would be fine. It's got a bit of an aftertaste. It might be the buffalo sauce. The chicken is a little bit tough. It's not really like tender, like kind of like falling apart. So it makes me think this is like frozen. It's giving frozen. It just sang, I want to build a snowman. Oh, this ones feel fried. They don't feel saucy. They feel deep fried, which is not a bad thing. 
Oh my goodness. Do you see that? This is so much better. This is literally falling off the bone. This is really good. I wish they had more sauce. It, I'm not getting like buffalo sticky sauce. I'm getting buffalo spice. So maybe there's a sauce that comes on the side with it when it's served, that would make sense. But the chicken on this, you gotta come and try one of these. It's a chicken salad. <laughs> It's good. The chicken is literally falling off the bone. It's really good. I just wish it was saucier. That's my only criticism. The sauce, 100% better on this one. If this one came with the same sauce, it would be perfect. It would be perfection. I'm gonna say this is the winner because overall, the actual chicken being tender, it's everything to me. The flavor is really good as well, just needs more sauce. But still, this is the winner. And I think this is, I'm guessing towards the restaurant. I'm not entirely sure anymore. So the winner is... TGI Friday conspiracy theory, not approved, but approved. Every single food from TGI Friday. The frozen one is better. I am gooped and gagged. Okay, now looking at it, yeah, that kind of, mm, I don't know, even looking at it. Why is this one giving frozen food? TGI Friday chefs, blink twice if you use anything else other than a microwave cooking your food. <laughs> So this is the TGI Friday restaurant one. And even though I did agree that it was really saucy, I don't know, it's not crispy enough. The meat is very tough. It just seems like it wasn't cooked long enough. This is the frozen one, the one that was baked at home. Do you see how it's like well cooked? And when you bite into it, you can really tell. It's got a nice texture on the outside and then super tender on the inside. Even though it's not as saucy, it is better. Controversial opinion, but I actually think the frozen one looks better just crispier right this looks better that means this is another point to the frozen food which means the next one will decide if this is going to be a tie or if the restaurant food is going to be the winner this is the chicken egg rolls from pf chang so honestly so far pf chang has been kind of a mixed bag so i don't know exactly what to expect but i'm gonna start with this one this would be easier to eat with my hands but i'm gonna try to be respectful is it fallen no, something dropped. <laughs> soft, very soft. Could be homemade, it's so soft. Could be restaurant, because it's been sitting here for a while. <laughs> okay, let's try the one. Oh, I did drop something here. Let's try this one now. Oh, this will way crispier. Tougher, crispier, also slippery. Oh, no, I got it. Interesting. They feel very different. I like the filling way better on this side. This is good on the inside. I love the filling on this one. This one it was a little bit too greasy for me. And I never say that, but it, it really was greasy. Here's the thing. I think on the inside, the, the spices, it's very similar in both of them. I think it's similar in both of them, but I just feel like this one is just a little bit too greasy for me. It's just a little bit greasy. Also bigger. This is difficult. I love both. Looking back, maybe this is the one. Maybe grease is not a bad thing. The flavor is there, you know, when you bite into it, it's a great texture. This one's a little bit dry. Is there one in between? Like that would be ideal. If there was one in an in-between moisturizement. <laughs> Hydration. I'm gonna say, even though it's greasy, I'm gonna have to go with this one. It just feels like proper, like you'd get it at a restaurant. I would pay good money for this one. This one is a little bit like something you'd get at 7-Eleven, I think. Like it tastes a little bit like a taquito. <laughs> But in a good way, I love a taquito. I'm being real shady in this video. Like, these companies are never gonna sponsor me. They probably couldn't afford it in first place. Invisible hair flip. <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna go for this one. It feels proper. I, this is something that I would like, like, for dinner, to eat in bed. It'd just be nice. Greasy but nice. This is something that I would get as a light lunch, a snack, a pre-lunch lunch. Uh, so this one, this is the winner. And I think this is a restaurant one. Yep. They also look completely different in terms of size. Wow, that is interesting. P.F. Chang are back in their scamming, stealing, criminal ways. <laughs> look at the image in the box. This is something that really upsets me. And this is what they're serving. I just, come on, not in color, not in texture. This is completely different. This is the restaurant one. They keep on photographing the restaurant menu and then serving you something from 7-Eleven. P.F. Chang is shady. They are in fast food jail as of right now. 
I've never been to P.F. Chang's. We should do that for a video, going there for the first time, because I feel like this was very much a chaotic, blindfolded tasting experience. I don't really count it as going there. What is this crispy thing? No flavor. So I've got it written here on a piece of toilet paper, which I'm hoping that there's like some graphic on screen that looks nicer to you, but to me it's a gold Christmas Sharpie and a piece of toilet paper. The winner is clearly the restaurant. Not clearly, it was almost a tie, which is surprising. So the moral of this video is if you ever feel like going to TJ Fridays, go to Walmart and buy the frozen section. It is the same thing. TJ Friday can't even afford chefs. They probably can't afford to sue me. Man, I take it too far sometimes. TJ Friday was a complete failure. P.F. Chang's close second. I guess it really depends, you know? Sometimes those frozen foods actually are similar to the restaurant versions. They can also be a waste of money. Like it's just the logo, the brand of the restaurant on there. And you'd probably be better off buying like a Walmart brand or like just a cheaper brand. A generic chicken tacos would probably be better than this. You gotta try and see or wait for me to film it, try it, and then I'll tell you and then you can take notes. This was a lot of fun. I want to do this again. So if you have restaurants that you know also sell frozen food and supermarket versions of their products, please let me know in the comment section because I fully run out of places. Like in this video, this is all I had. So I need new restaurants that also sell foods at the supermarket, so please let me know in the comment section. Panera Bread, that's an idea for part two. So if you want to watch a part two, please give the video a like. Don't forget to subscribe, switch my notifications on before you go. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Bye bye.